My friend Kim is coming over today and she is a super busy mom with three boys under the age of six. So as you can imagine, she doesn't have a ton of free time on her hands. Kim is also a pretty picky eater, so my goal today is to help her fall in love with salmon because if she can love it, then I think her boys can too. All right, so Kim, I know you were looking for some easy weeknight meals to make for your family, and today I'm gonna show you how to make rice bowls with salmon and avocado and eggs. I, know. I don't know about the salmon. I know, salmon is a tricky one, but I think you're gonna really enjoy it in this meal. And if you don't, it's really easy to replace it with any other protein that your family will enjoy the most. So teriyaki meatballs are great. That's okay. actually something you can buy at the store that's already made. Um, chicken, you can do chicken. Um, really anything that you guys prefer is fine. Great. Um, what you wanna look for the most when you buy salmon is these little fat, um, kind of ribbons in there because okay. um, that kind of gives it a really buttery texture instead of a super fishy flavor that you might get from something that's a little bit drier. So I would definitely, if, if you guys are brave enough to try okay. the salmon after I convince you with this bowl, then definitely look for that kind of salmon. And we're gonna add some toasted sesame oil to the salmon. Um, it just gives it a really beautiful flavor. Um, and then season it with some salt and pepper. You stick it in a 425 degree oven for about nine to 12 minutes, depending on how well done you like your fish. Okay. And that's the longest part of this whole meal. Now that the salmon is in the oven, we're going to put together the rest of the bowls so that you can get that step out of the way and have dinner on the table super fast. And this is a great part for the kids to help out with too, if you want some extra hands in the kitchen. So we're just gonna fan out the avocado slices a bit. You want me to be cutting this egg, yeah. right? So if you can cut that in half okay. while I get the other bowl topped with some avocado. So did you learn this dish when you lived in Japan? I did, that? yeah. Good memory. I um, Yeah, this was one of the first things that we made there with our rice cooker when we finally bought one. And I used to put salmon sashimi on top, but you know, with kids. You're gonna have to break sashimi me into that. <laughs> right. <laughs> You're not quite ready yeah. for that phase yet. We'll, we'll get you hooked on this kind of salmon first and we'll get to that later. I hear it sizzling in there, it sounds awesome. Okay, so now we've got the salmon on top and that's really all we need to do except for that delicious sauce that I was telling you about. I just mixed together some soy sauce, a little more of that um, sesame oil and some honey. We're just gonna drizzle it right over the top of the salmon and the avocado and the egg. Oh man, that smells so good. Oh, do you smell the soy sauce? It smells yeah. amazing. All right, moment of truth. Are you ready? I am ready. Okay, I think you're gonna love it. All right, I'm gonna get a little bit of salmon. I want some of that sauce in there. Ooh. I'm so excited. This sauce is really good. I'm liking the salmon too. Can't even believe I just said that. All right, so that took us 15 minutes. Super delicious, so easy, and pretty. I love it, it's beautiful, and I think the boys will love it too. Good, I'm so glad. Well, thanks for coming today. Yeah, thanks for taking the time to show me. Yeah, I'm gonna dig into this, because I can't stand it anymore. I know. <laughs>